It can be incredibly frustrating when your local files are not syncing with OneDrive or SharePoint when you're using the OneDrive Sync Client. Here's a quick list of the common issues and fixes to get your files syncing once again. The first thing you'll want to do is close open files that may be open that you're trying to sync. Another common sync issue is caused by the file being too large. You can try reducing the file size by compressing or zipping it. You'll want to ensure that Windows and Office are up to date, as always, and reduce the file name path. Next, ensure that you have the right permissions to upload files to the folder. The easiest way to check this is to open a file from that folder. If you can't open or save a file, then you don't have the right permissions. And remember, the OneDrive or SharePoint files will be synced to your local system. Therefore, you need to ensure that you have enough free space to allow this. If you're looking for some space, delete unwanted files and empty the recycle bin. Now, let's pop into our demo and take a look at some other common fixes. If those fixes do not work, next you can try using the Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant tool. This tool will run tests and it will attempt to fix any detected issues or at least provide you details on how you can solve the problem. This tool can be downloaded from the Outlook Support Center. I've already downloaded and installed the application. Let's go ahead and launch it. If you're prompted with a security warning, go ahead and select Run. And you'll notice that this tool is not just for OneDrive. You can use this tool for a variety of your Office applications. We're going to select OneDrive for Business, and then next we need help syncing our OneDrive files. But you can also use this tool if you need help installing OneDrive. I need to let it know that this is the affected machine. You may be prompted for your username and password. I have already run this tool and it has that information already saved for me. In my example, we actually have an error here. I can select perform and the support and recovery assistant will fix the error for me. In this case, the tool is reporting an error, and we can take a look at the summary of everything it did. In this example, this error is not actually causing any sync issues for me. I can go ahead, click next, and I'm going to select that my problem's been fixed. I don't want Microsoft support to contact me. Therefore, I'm going to select no, and then submit. That's it. That's all there is to it. It will take a moment for the support and recovery assistant to wrap things up. If the tool is unable to fix your problem, sometimes restarting the OneDrive Sync Client will. To restart the OneDrive Sync Client, the first thing you'll need to do is pop down to your taskbar, locate the icon, right-click it, and then close OneDrive. Are you sure? Yes, I am. You can either relaunch the OneDrive Sync Client from your local system, or you can do it from the Office 365 portal. That's my preference. To do so, pop into Office 365 and into OneDrive and then Sync. OneDrive will now open and then start Sync. But before you do that, you can change what files and folders are being synced to your local system from here. I'm not going to change anything, I'm just going to go ahead and start that Sync. You will also want to ensure that your OneDrive account is actually connected to your system correctly. To do so, you'll pop back down to the OneDrive icon, right-click, and then select Settings. In Account, you can confirm that OneDrive is connected to your actual account. It's here you can also add another account. Sometimes the Office Upload Cache system can interfere with syncing, and turning this off can correct the issue. You'll find this setting in the Office tab. You would then uncheck Use Office Applications to sync Office files that I open. I'm going to leave that as is. Finally, you can try unlinking and relinking OneDrive. To do so, pop back into account and then unlink this PC. When you unlink the account and relink it, the connection will reset itself again. At this point, you would go ahead and unlink the account. This will stop the synchronization and then you could relink the account. If these steps do not solve the problem, you will need to contact your local IT help desk or you can refer to the OneDrive Help Center for additional tips, tricks, and troubleshooting techniques.